Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Kim, a fairly average mum, and today I thought I'd unbox my what is it now? Beauty Bay mystery box with you. So let's get cracking. Hiya, so I've had my hair did. Also, I just nicked off again to put a bit of lippy on because I realised I'd sat down without putting my lippy on. Well, I put it on earlier on, but then I ate my dinner. So I probably ate it all off. But anyway, I've had my hair done lighter. What do you think? I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. I'll tell you what, it's going to be brilliant when my roots come in though, because they're not going to be quite so obvious. My white hair, you know what I mean? Anyway, I'll put my lippy down over here. It's just my Urban Decay one. I got this donkey's ages ago in a look incredible box i don't know if you remember when i used to do those unboxings um and i got this in it it's my favorite all-time lipstick i think at the moment i'll probably fall out with it in a couple of weeks you know what i mean but anyway i'll put that one on right yo let me untuck my hair a bit so i can show you it look it's slightly blonde um yeah i think i'm liking it it's certainly a bit lighter for summer isn't it the weather is beautiful and I've got a week off, right? So I've got loads of videos I want to film this week. I've not got so many try-on hauls because, to be honest, I bought quite a lot of clothes recently. You won't believe that by me we're sitting here wearing a blinking t-shirt and a pair of black trousers. <laughs> and I've actually got drawers full of clothes. But I just decided for one month, I'll just have a bit of a break and use some of the clothes that I've actually got. Although I am sitting here looking at um, a next haul and I absolutely love the stuff I got in my next haul. So that will be coming soon. But that hasn't stopped me shopping. I went on Beauty Bay because I saw a wee lassie had done, can't remember her name, can I remember her name. I'd bought a beauty box, a mystery box from Beauty Bay, right? Um, which is like a website that sells makeup and stuff. Do you know what I mean? Um, and I'm just realising now I ain't got my gigs. Oh, they're over there. Right, okay. Um... So, yeah, it's like a um, a website that I've got the app for it. It sells amazing sort of eye makeup and stuff like that. I like beauty Bay sort of formula because I buy only cheap makeup, don't I? Do you know what I mean? Um, so, yeah, I'm not spending £70 on an eyeshadow palette. It's not going to make any difference to me mush. You know what I mean? It's not like magic or anything because you spent 70 quid. But anyway, right, so this is me rambling because I haven't been on for ages, right? I know you haven't probably noticed me missing, but I've been off for about a week um, just because I've built up a backlog of videos. Um, so anyway, I'm rambling. But Beauty Bay sell all this amazing makeup and toiletries and stuff like that. So when this when I seen they had like this beauty box for £29, I thought I'm in. Right, I'm in. I'm gonna get it, right? So I'm gonna get my gigs so I can open it with you. Hang on. Here we go. Look, hair everywhere. Right, just my gigs. Let me make oh the filthy. Absolutely filthy. You know what I was doing yesterday? I was taking my makeup off um while wearing my gigs, right? So taking them off and then checking what makeup I'd still got on. So they're covered in like cleanser you know like my first cleanse because i tend to do a double cleanse now right let me put my gigs on yeah i could do a washing them really but anyway where are your beauty box here you go right so this is it so inside it looks like this can you see it right so that's the b for beauty bit i briefly had a look in it but not at anything particular I know there's an eyeshadow palette in, so I'm hoping it's something nice, right? Anyway, right, it's absolutely rammed with stuff. So here we go. So first up, I've got a brush. Um, I've got loads of this size brushes. Right, absolutely loads. But um, I'm sure one of my daughters is going to really like it. I won't take this out, if you'll forgive me. The last that I saw unboxing one, I'd only got a really fine brush. So I'm glad I didn't get that one. Um, because I don't you do detailed stuff, you know, like, <coughs> excuse me, liners and things like that. No, I'd have them up here, right, in my eyebrow and stuff. So, anyway, right, so there's a brush. I'll give it to one of my daughters. I'm sure that it'll come in handy with one of them. Let me, let me move you. Am I up? I just faffed around with camera and now I'm worried it's going to start moving. But anyway, we're going to roll with it. Okay, so that's the first thing. Then I got this. What are you? It's quite a big paw. Chamomile and oat lipid cleansing balm. Right, I were nearly, I nearly bought this off Beauty Bay, obviously, because these are all. <coughs> Excuse me, I had a cough. 
all week and now suddenly I come on to film, I've got like a tickly cough. Right, I nearly very much bought this, right, cleansing balm, because you can buy three really cheap and packs the two and stuff. Um, and I haven't really used a cleansing balm before, but I thought I'll give it a go. Oh, look at it. So all these are Beauty Bay make, their own make. So it comes with a little scoopy thing. And then inside, this is it. Oh, it smells quite nice, actually. It looks like something that you'd rub on and then you'd do a second cleanse afterwards. Let's just have a little look. What's it say? Uh, massage in circular motions with warm water until a milky, until it goes milky, right? So it is, you actually use it while you're washing your face. That's great. I really wanted to try this, you know. So I'm super happy I've got that one. Really, really happy. And I'll try and look up the prices of these and put them on the screen as I'm going so you'll see what I got for my £29. But very happy with that one. Then what's this one? It says, hair serum, smooth and shine, vitamin C and, rape, and grape seed oil. Okay. Now, up there on top of my unit, I've got this Gliss stuff by Schwarzkopf that I use all the time, but I'm running low on it. I really am. I need to get myself some more. So if this is, works the same, I'll be well happy with it. Ooh, look at that. It's got a pointy bit on top. What do you do with it? You open it. Ooh, it smells very nice. Quite fruity smelling, actually. I don't know what you do with it. Hang on. Yeah, it smells really, really nice. Let's see what it says. Light, I'm rubbing it into my hair, why not? Lightweight serum. Perfect for everyday use. Helps to protect against pollution, smooths cuticles, cuticles, and reduces breakage, enhances shine and lustre. Apply to wet or dry hair whenever needed. Use a small amount and work through midlines and ends. Rub the last bit into my hair. I'll use it, defo. Right, absolutely. Anything that's going to help, like I say, I need to get some more of that Gliss stuff. I really rate that. Um, you used to be able to get it at B&M, but when I was down there the other day, I've got a B&M haul coming soon as well. Um, I couldn't find it for loving the money. I was there with our rose and I couldn't find it, but really happy with that one. Anything that helps me air out, you know what I mean? So lovely. be nice if I got a body lotion as well. I'm completely out of body lotion, right? Okay, next up, this one. What are you? Renew and Smooth Serum, Retinol Complex, 0.2 Retinol Complex. Proves the appearance of pigmentation and fine lines. Do you know, you use it on a night, I like that it's ticked like that and tells you you use it on a night. I have got so many blinking serums, it's not even worth talking about. Absolutely loads of them. I can't get through them, honestly. As fast as I'm going through them, I'm, I'm getting new ones. So um, I don't think I've ever bought one. Well, no, I did buy one and have had one. Um, off vintage but I think that's the only one I've ever actively looked for and bought but I, I seem to always have serums do you know what I mean I could literally have a bath in the amount no slight exaggeration I could certainly fill my sink with what I've got I've got tubes and bottles of the stuff all over anyway no doubt I'll get to it it'll be at the bottom of the list of ones next up I've got this I've no idea what it is uh, peeling solution drops, glycolic acid and salicylic acid, exfoliating and reduces excess oil. Well, I don't really have excess oil, if truth be known. <laughs> I'm like dried up at this point, right? My skin has only, the only oil it's got, well, I'm slightly sweating at the moment, but, um, but I'm not complaining because the weather's glorious. I've got to dig out my fan though. Um, but yeah, I don't really have oily skin. Use in the evening, no more than twice a week. Okay. If it starts peeling my skin off, I'm going to be slightly uh, uh, sort of put off it. But I'll give it a go. You know, I'll try it. Uh, yeah, let's have a look at it. Oh, it's sealed. Do you know what? I might not. I might give it to one of my kids. Um, I, I once had um, a chemical peel. And um, yeah, my whole face swelled up like a big balloon. So I'm slightly concerned by anything that says it's peeling, just because I know I had a reaction to that chemical peel. Now I know that was stronger than most things that um, you know you would get in a tube. You won't be allowed to sell that stuff. Blinking, act, my face were like a big old balloon and bright red. 
um but i still am slightly concerned so i might give that to one of my kids see if they want to try it out because i know how Eve used to have the same treatment i had that day and it never caused her any problems so i don't know whether she'd fancy it you know i'll give it to her see whether she wants it if not i'll take it in and work one at lassie's right let's have a look the lip exfoliating brush i've never seen out like it in my life what is it oh my goodness oh i'm trying to open it please let me get into it quickly right this looks interesting now i do get dry lips i do and uh, peely lips i'm using lip balm every verse end to try and stop my lips from you know going like that and stop me from like getting chapped underneath it from all my lip licking that i do so let's have a look at this finally got into it let's have a wee look i've still got stacks in this box i really have oh oh it's one of these look it's got like a wee rubber stopper here and then it's in the shape of lips and i take it you go like this yeah i'll stick it in my bathroom maybe it's when i'm in the shower i'll have a little light like, scrub of my lips do you know what i mean right <laughs> that's very interesting a bit of fun anyway look at it bright green you know it's jazzy i'm not gonna lose it i might it, with it being that color so that'll be nice i'll stick it in my bathroom and give it a go yeah, I don't know why I'm putting it back in my box, but I am. Right, next up, what are you? Lip SOS mask. Castor oil and borage seed oil. Definitely use this. I've got a crack at side of my mouth as well. I'm sure it's a vitamin deficiency. I've started taking my multivitamins again. I'd misplaced them slightly. So I usually take them on a night time with some of my other meds. Um, but uh, yeah, I've misplaced them. Right, let's have a see what this is like. I will definitely use it because, like I say, I've got this cut outside of it now. Oh, it's very thick, very very thick. Right, put a bit there. That's just what I needed. Blinking it, that is just what I needed. Right outside of my lip. I'll leave that on. That hopefully that'll help. Right, while I get my multivitamins in me. Great, we'll use it, you know what I mean? Stick it in my handbag. Great. It says suitable for lips, brows and lashes, anywhere that needs a boost of hydration. All over. Right, you know what I mean? Everywhere. Head to toe, probably. Anyway, I'll definitely use it and it's really helping out outside of my mouth, although my hair is now stuck to it. Right, next up, this. Let's have a wee look. Uh, powder highlighter. I've just bought myself a powder highlighter. I'm going to be showing you in um, Duda What's It Super Drug haul coming, right? Okay. Um, in fact, I might be filming that after this. But anyway, got another highlighter. Do you ever get through a highlighter? I never get through a highlighter. Right. The only thing that happens to them is they expire. The amount of highlighter that you put on is so small. And they always give you like eight grams or something like that in a tub. Anyway, this is it. Looks quite golden, this one. Yeah, that's a bit more gold than I would use, really. But I will use it as an eye eyeshadow. Yeah, that is very golden. I don't even know if you can see it. Let me put a bit more on. There it is, like there. That is way too golden for me. But nice as an eyeshadow, you know. A sort of an orangey eyeshadow. It's okay. It's not my favourite, you know what I mean? But it's all right. Pop it back in there. May end up giving it to one at last as it work. We'll see. Anyway, right, so that is my highlighter. It's nice to have a try these things because then I know what the um, the formulations and things are like anyway. So if I was going to buy one in a different colour, I know what I'm getting. It is very, very shiny and uh, not glittery which is what i like do you know what i mean so it's that one right not my favorite but anyway right and then i've got this which looks suspicious like a lippy by beauty bear for the obsessed by the obsessed a hydrated tinted lip balm oh nice let's have a look see what color i've got in this like i say i like a lip balm oh nice right let's have a look oh it's quite dark but I do like it. That's my kind of colour, that. You know what I mean? I like a dark one. But I like that it's a lip balm as well. I'll stick that in my bag. Take that to work with me. 
you know, like judge my lips up while I'm at work, why not? It feels really nice, it does. I'm super happy with that one, very, very pleased. So yeah, excited. Then another big box. Vitamin C and niacinamide cleansing gel, another cleanser, fabulous. Right, always going through cleansers. In fact, I'm right down to my last one prior to getting these. Right, so that's another one there. Let's see what it's like. What's it smell like? Oh, it smells quite sort of fresh. Fresh with a slightly milky sort of fragrance to it. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about that one. I prefer the, um, the balm one. But yeah, I'll use it, definitely, definitely. Have I got some tissue? Wipe it off, you know. I'll tell you what, it's taking the highlighter off so nice. I will have to go wash my hands after this though. But yeah, how many mils do you get in it? 150 mils, so nice, that'll last me quite a while, that. And I'll see which one of them I like, and I might buy that going forward, you know. We've got some more sort of um, makeup -y things here now. Right, so next up I've got this powder blusher. Okay, what colour are you? Please don't be too dark. Mind you, I've just bought myself some blushes that I really like. Um, so, ooh, it's quite pretty though. Actually, I really like it. That's quite pretty. It's very, very powdery. It's quite matte. I prefer one that's got a little bit more sort of shimmery on it. But, um, but I'll definitely give it a try. It's very pretty. I like the colour of it. Yeah, nice. Like that one. Much prefer that. That's more usable for me than that highlighter one. And then next up, another little one. What are you? Powder bronzer. Now, what swatch this? Because there is no way on this earth I will be bronzing. Because I look like I've been tangoed when I do, right? My skin's too pasty um, to tolerate much bronzer, really. And I don't know what I'm doing with it anyway. It wasn't something that were a thing when I was young, was it? So, um, would it? Ooh, dropping it on the floor. Right, no, in my box. Right, so this is it. It looks quite dark, actually. So that's it there, bronzer. I'll see whether anybody else wants that one. No point me swatching it because there's no way I'm going to use it. You know, it's in the colour caramel. What other colour are me? Um, the highlighter colour. Let's just have a look what the colours of these were, right? So the highlighter was in the colour Aura, right? Whatever you say. And the blusher was in the colour peachy. All right, well, that absolutely describes that one. Then this is in the colour caramel, which is quite a dark bronzer. I'll see whether anybody at work wants that one. I, do, I think that might be a bit dark for my lasses, that. Right, and then last up is a palette. Please let it be nice, please let it be nice, please let it be nice. Right, so they all come looking like this. Um, all the palettes come looking like this, and apart from different sizes, you know what I mean? Oh my goodness. I think I know which one this is. Holy moly. <laughs> this ain't boarding well, is it? Right, um, okay. Right, it's absolutely beautiful. 1980 Kim would have absolutely loved this. Um, 2024 Kim, not so much. You know what I mean? No, there's no way on this earth I am ever going to use that. I mean, it's beautiful. It really is. But I, blues and that sort of vivid purple, a pinky purple, I might just manage. But um, no, I'm never, ever going to use those. It's very, very nice, though. I think these are 16 quid, these palettes. You know what I mean? So if you think about my £29, I've got absolutely bags of stuff for my money. I'm very happy with what I have got, even though I can't use the eyeshadow palette and a couple of other makeup bits. I'm super pleased with all the stuff that I've got. So what I'm going to do is calculate the value of everything in this box. If I bought it as an individual item and I'll put it here so that you can see what value I've got for my £29. 
And then I'm going to do a second calculation, which is for all the things that I'm going to use, um, so not the palette and not the bronzer, you know what I mean? I will put that here. Okay, so you'll see what I've got from it, £29. But I'm actually really, really pleased. And none of the things will go to waste. I work with a load of lassies, so um, even if my daughters don't want the things that I've got, I'm absolutely certain somebody at work will take them, you know what I mean? So um, they won't go to waste, not at all. But anyway, that's everything for today. If you've liked this video, please give us a like. It really helps us out. And if you like this kind of content, you might want to consider subscribing. I've left all my contact details in the description box, just in case you want to contact me for any reason. But thank you very much for taking a few moments out of your day to spend with me. Bye!